Hey everybody, Pastor Phil here. Are you thirsty for God? Yes, you are, even if you don't immediately recognize it. Psalm 63 talks about this thirst within the soul and gives some thoughts on how to connect with God so that your inner desires can be truly satisfied. In verse 6 it says, On my bed I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Here's another part of satisfying your soul thirst. Your walk with God needs to be number one in your life. Here, the writer says that even in the middle of the night, the Lord was on his mind. When you wake up at 2 or 3 a.m., where are your thoughts? My wife says that when she wakes up at night, she just begins to pray for whoever happens to be on her mind. That's an ongoing connection with God. I've had times when I woke and asked the Lord if there was something he wanted to say to me. And here's an interesting point. If we can train ourselves to think this way, God can really connect with us. During the day, we're so easily distracted by life happening all around. But at night, our defenses come down, hopefully our minds are more at rest, and God can finally get through. When you wake up during the night, talk to God. Verse 8 says, My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. In the King James, it says, My soul follows hard after you. The NCV says, I stay close to you. And the message says, I hold on to you for dear life. All of these give us a picture here. God is stable and trustworthy, and therefore we should stay close to him, holding on and following wherever he leads. This is an extension of verse one, which said, earnestly I seek you. The idea is that wherever God is, is where I want to be. Always remember, you have a real enemy that wants to destroy you. There might be a few people that don't like you, but that's not the enemy I'm talking about. 1 Peter 5.8 says, be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. And John 10.10 10 says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I know it can get wearisome resisting the enemy, but here's the good news. He's going down. Jesus wins. There's another reason to stay close to him. With him, we are more than conquerors. If you really love the Lord and are loyal to Him, if you really want to quench that inner thirst, then choose to praise God. Choose to press into His presence. Choose to pursue Him with all your heart. There is a soul thirst within that can only be satisfied by God. You can't find real satisfaction in anything else. So go after God. Earnestly seek Him. And when you do, you will begin to see the power and glory of God. You will walk with Him and sense His presence. His presence will be with you at all times and you will rejoice. And it will be the best decision you've ever made. So go after God.